Hi, I'm Megan. I'm going to show you how to make a monochromatic landscape acrylic painting. So, you're going to need, you only need three colors. So, I have white, you're going to need white, you're going to need black, and then you get to choose the third color. So, I chose blue. You can choose purple, red, yellow, whatever. And then a few different sized brushes to work with. You're going to want a cup of water to clean your brushes. I'm going to plate to put your painting on. That's all you're going to need to make your landscape painting. So you're first going to start with your sky. So you're going to want to mix some white with the color that you chose. You want it to be still pretty light, but you can make it a little brighter if you want to. As long as it's just not the color that you chose straight out of the bottle. And then I'm just gonna start at the top and just go back and forth. Let it look warm nicely. Make sure you get all the way to the top. I'm going to use a bigger brush for the sky so it doesn't take as long and so it blends a little nicer when it's bigger too. So I want my the top of it to be a little brighter so I'm just going to add a little bit more to my original blue color. And then just keep doing side to side strokes to blend it in. And then as you start getting closer to the middle, just add a little bit of white to your, to your mixture. Just start adding that at the bottom and blending it. This will give the sky a little bit of an ombre effect. So just keep adding more white every time you do another line. You're going to want to take this sky a little bit farther than the middle. Just to make sure you don't have any blank spots when you're done with the painting. Okay, so I think that's a good place for me to stop with my sky. And then for whatever is in the shadow or whatever is further away. So for this I'm going to do mountains, so it's going to be a bit farther than mountain range. Um, I'm going to take some of the color I chose, just a little bit of black, I'm not going to need that much. It'll turn your color dark pretty fast. And you get a color that you like, it's not, it's not totally black, but it's, it's, a, it's darker than your original color is. You can take it and you're going to draw out some mountains in the back. You want to kind of like start where your um, brain stopped with your sky. If you want it to look a little more bumpy, you can do some rougher, short strokes. Or you can do it smooth if you, if you want it to look that way. I'm going to take it um, a little more to so a little more than a third, a little less than a third of the canvas is left for your last mountain. Um, I'm gonna just take the, my pure blue, so whatever color you chose, just whatever came out of the tube you're gonna take. You're gonna just draw your last mountain. You don't want the colors to kind of um, blend with each other as much. You can wait for that bit to dry between each step.
but I think that's a good place for me to stop with that part. I'm gonna wash my brush, and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush to do some details. So, um, let's start with the back mountain range. So I'm gonna take some black to add some more texture, and just on both one side of the mountain, I'm just gonna wanna add like some lines zigzags kind of just like and add some snow cracks to the back one with some of uh, your just pure color. So in this case it's blue. And you just add it to the top. And then you want to add some highlights in the rocks. You can just do the same thing you do with the black. With the blue. And we're gonna do something similar to the this time I'm going to use white for the mountain, for the ice snookers. Instead of adding black for the shadow side, you're going to take the blue and black mixture that you used when you made your first um, mountains. Adding more details, and if you find that you don't like some of the details you added, you can just take whatever color the mountain range is and just kind of like go back over it. And then the last step is adding a sun or a moon to your sky, somewhere in the sun. So you just take pure light and you just want to add it to your sky. And then you're done with your landscape.